Okay, so if you have the older model of laptop, you may have the Intel AC7260 or the 3160. With Catalina, thanks to Chris1111, he has this uh, patch to make the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth working on these two. But for the older one, I'm gonna try these two. Head over to Chris. One, 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 one. And go to GitHub. You go to Intel Wi-Fi. So download this one. Watch his, this video. And this is all of the devices as is supported. And download this Intel Wi-Fi. This one right here. Downloaded the Intel Wi-Fi V2 DMG.zip from Chris1111. Open this up. So I'm going to drag it in here. Oh, you put it on the desktop. Catalina volume into Intel Wi-Fi. And we're going to install Intel Wi-Fi. OK. Intel at Bluetooth. Allowed. OK, we did that. Wow, it mounted and it installed it in there for us automatically, which we don't have to do it before to manually put it in. OK. All right. So let's look at the config file. So what we're going to do now, open the config file. So two ways you can do this. You can use the configurator for open core, which I don't install it in here. But what you can do is to do this. So Intel. Let's look inside here. All right, so what we're going to do, and we're going to go to kernel and add it. So the next one is the Bluetooth. So we need the Bluetooth injector first. So we always do the injector before anything else. So instead of Broadcom, it's going to be Intel. Yes. We need to copy this executable path. And we're going to use Intel Bluetooth Injector. OK. So the third one we want to do A Bluetooth firmware. So now we should run
is already on. So let's look in here. So let's open the network. So we're going to rename this one. Rename the service. We call this Intel AC7260. All right. So now let's check the Bluetooth. So the problem with the Bluetooth on this one is it doesn't support so you cannot beam you cannot airdrop on this one so let's get a headphone so let's open the Bluetooth let's see if it come up there you go headphone all right it's connected okay so thanks to Chris one 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 four ones um, he did improve so much stuff on the Hackintosh so you have to go to the his website this one Wow it's very slow so it seems like the 5G doesn't work really well so look at this it's trying to connect let's do 2.4 gig so let's run with the dog and monkey is 2.4 gig so let's do this so it's very slow Oh, now it's better. The second time, it keep dropping. Seem to connect to um, the five gig better, and the download is much better compared to the seventy-two sixty. But it's still not very consistent. So let's do. Uh, so the five gig seems to be better. So when it's connected good, it's uh, eleven. So both of the uh, seventy-two sixty and thirty-one sixty seems to have the same problem on the Wi-Fi.